What's up guys? We're back for another informative video. We have Donovan, we have his Evo. We just worked on his car. I'll link it all above. This is his stage three Evo 10. This thing is nice. I'd really like to have one of these. We were just talking about it. He's done the Cobb stage three, all the goodies on it. We installed it in my garage before a couple of years back but this is the car here it looks great but today specifically we're going to do stainless brake lines all around the car and then i'm going to also show you how to bleed brembo brakes all brembo brakes are relatively the same so these steps should all apply pretty much across the board so just because it's an evo you know we do mustang stuff here but we do it all and those brakes are pretty much similar to that same with the hellcat everything they all install about the same way so let's go ahead and get this thing in the air and get started Oh, the RS is right here. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, we still support the, the, the RS on my, my little shop lights from Walmart. I got that on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something. Completely not worth it, but it was cool. But yeah, the RS was a neat car. I like it. Yeah, man. So what we got going on in here, let's see if we can get some more light. This is all hard steel, so we're gonna have to separate this guy right there. And then this is what we're gonna be replacing is those flexible lines. And it comes into the back and then this will separate there, but pretty much the same. Standard Brembo brakes there. So you guys can see how to change these, but pretty simply you tap these out, this whole thing comes out and then the pads come out themselves. When we actually bleed, we're gonna go for these nipples here and there's one in the back. All right, so we gotta make an AutoZone trip because there's a special wrench that I'll show you once we pick it up that we need, but luckily it's just right around the corner. So it's pretty fun. I want one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is what we gotta do. Replace those lines there. And you start with that center bolt there on top. It's a 10 mil and you're gonna need a special wrench. It looks like this. It's a flared wrench, 10 millimeter, and that will allow you to get all the way in the back and just get a, a better grasp uh, so you don't strip that bolt because then you're screwed. And then right here is gonna be the same deal, but this is how that all goes on there just to show you. So it's attached pretty much all around and that gives you a lot more biting force on those little bolts there. Uh, since they're so small, you don't wanna strip them. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a hold somehow, a little lip, and I'm just gonna pull on this thing until it comes out, little by little. Got it. So this is your clip here, and it holds that in place. So with this top nut free, which it is, I can do it by hand, you're going to start having some brake fluid come out a little bit. It's so slippery. Mm -hmm. All right, the brake line comes free like that. All right, so the next thing we do is this line here is going to be the same deal. It's a 10 millimeter. And we're going to take that free. So we're righty tidy left loosey. We're going to move this way. Definitely want to get this thing out. Uh, this one's being troublesome, so we're going to keep attacking that. But you have this clip right here, and you're going to take like a flat head or something like that, and you're going to push on these ears here, and it's going to come out just like that top piece did. And then you're going to take these guys loose right here, and these are 12 millimeter bolts, especially this top one. is really all the, the only thing that you should be worrying about right there. Got it. So that's loose. That's loose. On the back side of the caliper is going to be a 14 millimeter bolt. It's a good shot too, because you can see everything. Yeah. So I get my big hands out of the way. Just like this. One last bolt here, holding this hole. Together is 12 millimeter. Take that guy loose. And it will separate from the bracket. Just like that. Brilliant shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fit it 
here like this. We have everything tightened up already. We did the stainless steel lines here. Very, very simple, easy going job. No issues whatsoever. I'm just kidding. A uh, couple, but you know, it's all good. So we're gonna bleed some brakes. So when you bleed these brakes, what's gonna happen is your inside nipple is what we're gonna do first. We have our drain pan, and then we also have our clear tube. It's very, very simple. A lot of people don't know how to do this, so that's why we're gonna show you. This is the, uh, the main title of the video so here we go get this one off there we go all right all right so i've got an 11 11 millimeter that i'm gonna put on this back side for the inside of the calipers what we're gonna do first and just attach my little hose here and i'm basically going to open this up he's going to push on the on the brake and you're gonna see the fluid come out. So we put some new stuff in there too. It's a little bit lighter of a fluid. So there'll be a little bit of color change, hopefully. And uh, it should be simple. So you want to get rid of any air bubbles that are are caught up in the brake line. So these are brand new lines. They have no fluid in them. So, all right, I'm open. Closed. I'm open again. Closed. All right, so we have no air bubbles there. So we are good to go on this side. And now we're going to do the outside. We're open. Closed. That's it. All right, so we started with dot three and his new brake pads and everything came with some dot four, so it's a lot of fluid. We did see a color change there on the fluid and we saw no air bubbles to finish. So we are good to go and that is it. Short, sweet, simple, to the point, no BS, that's it. Right to the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta add. Here I've got the thing. Gonna go to the fill line and about there. There you go. Yeah, it needs some more. That's okay. They gave you two bottles. Yes. This video. Mm -hmm. He he got some of it on there, and he was trying to wipe it off. Yeah. He took the paint slam off. Like, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, brake fluid's nasty stuff. Yeah, it's very important that you clean up your surface area and all of that. <laughs> Probably try to not get it on your clothes and everything else, if you can help it. Maybe wear some dirty jeans. Those are my working jeans right there. I got the dirty knees. <laughs> all right, so as he puts everything back together, we're gonna recap this video. What is the point in doing stainless steel brake lines? And mostly what brake, lines are for the is is brake feel track guys really really uh would see a benefit from this street guys you know maybe somewhat so about 70 percent of your your braking force is going to come from your front of the vehicle anyway so maybe you don't need the back um most kits come with the front and rear anyway so you're good to go there under hard braking you're not going to have a lot of that expansion um from the rubber and the lines so when you go stainless steel they're still flexible and there's going to be no expansion so you're going to have a better brake feel more consistent braking over a longer period of time times especially like road course racing all of that so that's that's kind of the math and science behind it so you got the new rotors you got the new brembo pads you got front steel lines still got to do the rear they sent us the wrong ones but all right so we're pretty much done with this video i'm gonna give you a shot of the car here obviously because you guys want to see this, I know. Looks good, it looks filthy, I need to clean it. And uh, we have something big coming for the next video, something for the back of the car that's going to be substantial. It does, the videos do not exist on the internet yet, so I should be the first guy and give you a nice step-by-step -step how to. So if you made it this far into the video, definitely like, share, subscribe, all of that normal stuff, and I'll see you next time. In conclusion,
In conclusion, it's a fabulous video, and I cannot speak today. Xander 13 sucks at vlogging. <laughs> I'm so terrible. He's holding the brake caliper or the, the wheel, and then mm, look at that He Man strength. Yeah, I don't have all that.